Julio is a beast. Michael Thomas, beast. Those guys are awesome, right? And, and I think they're going to be, you know, two, three, four in the National Football League. But I think the guy that we just heard from and Chris Godwin will be the best receiver in 2020 in the NFC oh. South. You talk about over 1,300 yards last year, Buck. Just last year, it's just too many weapons on this offense. I mean, you have Mike Evans, who Rhett just did an awesome job just talking about all the historical things he's doing, um, being a wide receiver. Oh, yeah, and then this guy named Rob Gronkowski, he came out of a retirement. You know, he runs down the seam, big body. Nobody can really check him. Oh, yeah, and you do have another uh, tight end, O.J. Howard who can run down the seam and beat people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this kid will be, Chris Godwin will be one-on-one -on -one all the time in this offense with TB12 throwing you know the football. What? Come on, bud. Hey, hey Mike, Mike Rob, Mike Rob, you did it. You're going to get your general alumni sticker from Penn State. They're going to slap it on the back <laughs> of the back of your car. Don't do you me done. like that, That's dog. a great PSA for Penn State football. But there is no way you can say Chris Godwin of all the receivers in the division, and I like him. But Mike Evans, Michael Thomas, Julio, come on, Mike Rob, we are. Come on, Buck, we Buck, are. But we we are two drops in the last two seasons. That's number one in the National <laughs> Football League. That's Chris Godwin. I'm just putting out facts, but that's all I'm doing, man. Yeah.